There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with with it. By the way, you hit but, the live button, so we're definitely live right now. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the bit. This has become oh. the. I had an idea, but this is the bit now. Okay. So you're accused. That's what we're doing it live. Yeah. Right. So you're accused of being. What was it? A bird nerd. A bird nerd. Yes. How many birds could you? Would you like be able to name if you saw them? A couple dozen. I don't know. Couple. No way. Come yeah. on. Do, a couple dozen. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, yeah. I mean, just think of all the like the like the obvious ones. You, you have like your bald eagles and like a, a seagull, um, a blue jay. Yeah, you could rip off twenty four bird names. Go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a peacock. Okay. A bald eagle. Uh, a pigeon. Um, a blue jay, a blue bird, a robin. Um, what are the the uh? A, is a duck a bird? <laughs> Surely. Uh, How about a loon. Okay. Uh, All right, you're making me feel a little bit. Carrion more pigeon. Uh, a woodpecker. Uh, yeah, a falcon. How about types of birds like a peregrine falcon? Mm. I, th- I think that's a little I think you're stretching it there but they're like you, you're also forgetting a few sports teams you know Oriole yeah is Seahawk an actual bird or do we just yeah I think so yeah someone said my uh, okay my, my mic's probably weird. better now Um. yeah is a pelican a pelican falcon that's the same thing um, does Big Bird count? Uh, probably not. And yeah, my mic should be fixed now. Sounds much better. Maybe one of the birds cut the cord or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could have kept going with the birds, but I got distracted with the whole mic issue, so... <laughs> Hello and welcome into the SoRare Data Show. I'm Andrew Laird. You can find me as Lairdino on SoRare, joined once again by Andy Black, Black86 on Twitter, Black on SoRare. Today to talk about ambition. Andy, I don't know anyone. Birds? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know anyone who likes to encourage ambition more than anyone, more than you. I don't know anyone more than you. That didn't sound right. But anyway, you're an ambition guy. And... I was talking to Gator Guy uh, two days ago, and I actually listened back to that show briefly, and like three and a half minutes in, somebody said something, I think it was Toby, and I was like, Keith, remind me about this, because I want to, like, remind me later, because I want to talk about this, and Keith didn't remind me, and then I forgot what it was at the end, but it was about ambition, and I was like, you know what, Andy's who I should talk to about this. Yeah, the ambition guy. The Um, ambition guy, exactly. Yeah, it's funny. I like to encourage ambition in others when sometimes I don't have, you know, that much ambition. Are you admitting? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the uh, situation, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. So I'm going to go through the chat to welcome everyone. Andy, remind me about what I'm going to talk about. Do better than Keith, please. Um, Mm. Liam, first in. Liam, 281. 911, but that's probably 28 1991. Hmm. Anyway, what's up, Liam? Thanks for coming in. And Toby, who's here, thank you very much. Jack Jarvis, early see the original thumbnail. We can go into that as well, um, but we won't. Um, Kev Hur, what's up? Ricky, Yohanatin, Sorer Juju, Carrie, Mike Bastin, what's up, everyone? Risu, curious. Hey, what did you think about the Carlos Heel celebratory popcorn bag? Uh, so did you, did you hear the whole, uh, uh, reason why? I know nothing about it. Who were, who were they playing? It, it was Charlotte, right? Charlotte. Oh, yeah, so there, Dean Henderson, Dean Henderson, Dean Smith. Uh, that's why they did it. Was there a popcorn you know, part of that story? 
Yeah, um, it was something like the Charlotte coach said that they were going to win, right? Um, no, I think or the, uh, the Moron coach, coach did. Yeah, Porter yeah, said Caleb, that Caleb then, Porter. Yeah. So Charlotte's Charlotte's uh, social media account tweeted out like popcorn after like a, just a popcorn emoji after he. Yeah, it, I mean it's stupid. They're they're all a bunch of losers. That's not funny. Uh, MLS uh, like social media people, I think are okay. Some of them are pretty funny. Mm. Okay. Usually during like lightning storms and there aren't any games. Anyway, uh, Chani, what's up? Mike Bass reminding whenever everyone hit the like button, that's uh, much appreciated. Ben Johnson just went for a run. Wow. How about that? Wonder if you saw any birds out there. Uh, Scosmo, what's up? Fabian, Limpy, Ben Johnson, a, a couple dozen is a great way of describing 24. I'm stealing that. It's, it's a literal couple dozen. It's a, I mean, that's a normal thing people say, right? I, I considered a couple dozen more than 24, like more than two dozen. Like when you said, yeah, like how many birds? And you're like, ah, a couple dozen. Like I pictured like five or six dozen. I'm like, that's so many birds. <laughs> like, do you have a book? Do I do have, have a book. book. I was, I knew it. I so, knew it. okay. Well, uh, it, I actually have a kind of a funny story. It's probably not that funny, but I'll still tell the story. <laughs> uh, my family all makes fun of me for being a bird nerd, and I'm not a bird nerd, okay? I'll see a cool bird outside. I'll be like, oh, look, it's a hawk. And then my kids are like, oh, dude, the bird nerd. Da, 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 da. Like, they think it's so funny to make fun of me for it. And it's just like, no, I saw something that was cool in the sky, and I pointed at it. Um, so for Christmas, uh, my mom and my daughters went out to Main Street, and they found in, like, some one of these, like, unique little stores that they have this bird book but what they didn't realize is it's like a satire satire satirical satirical uh book on birds and like on each page it has like a definition of a of a bird and like a drawing that a guy drew and like it's like this woodpecker will peck your dick off and it's just like <laughs> like it like every single uh description of the bird is just like complete humor and my kids didn't know this they were like oh we're gonna get dad a funny bird book turns out the bird book is hilarious i wish i had it with me because i would i would read you a, an excerpt but uh yeah yeah i've got a bird book phenomenal phenomenal okay. you're in it's fine um People who use dozen unironically still value cards in ETH. That's what Sebastian. Is. <laughs> um, anyway, um, <clears throat> so ambition. I realize that there are people on this platform who think it's better to try to beat the little guy and the new people and just mm. not try to win. Mm. If they can. Yeah. And. So rare told us that we're going to always want to compete in division one. But obviously, they haven't done enough to convince these people because there are some who are like, no, no, I see what you can win in division five. I'm going there. And so it's no, 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 they're better in division one. And they're like, I just don't see it. So I was wondering if you think it's possible that maybe So rare changes the game a little bit where it's like, Man, I need to have more ambition because, for example, if you stay in Division One for five consecutive game weeks, ten game weeks, maybe you get a little something. You get a, like a, a reward box, or you get into a new competition because you were able to stay in a higher division and not get relegated. What do you think? I about thought it? I thought you were going to use a, the T word. In what contents? Is the reward, is the reward, the T word, the threshold. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Or do we make it the D word, a dividend? A dividend. No, no, don't use that one. <laughs> Definitely don't use that one. <laughs> um, so what do you think about the possibility? Because we've seen that they do these like the, what do they call them in Rivals? Missions? Or no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, missions streaks or missions that are just applicable in division one so that we all want to get there and stay there. 
I think it's a great idea that I never even like thought of or considered. Uh, and like you said, a streak or just like uh, it's, I mean, it's almost like the, like, like in a mobile game where it's like, Oh, log in every day and get your thing. Or right. like you said, with rivals, it's like every uh, you have your missions, but you have also like every 12, 24 hours, whatever you get your, your ticket. Um, maybe you get a box uh, for every couple weeks that you stay in and you wouldn't even have to make it long term just no. two, two three weeks whatever and you get a get a box i'm in man do you, do you think that additional prizes just in division one is unfair to a majority of users who are not in division one oh, i'd give it in division two then no we don't want them in division two we want everybody going to the top andy yeah, but but it's an incentive to go from three to two. So stay in two. So Not what do you do? What do you do if you have a streak in division two and you're like, I just need to stay in division two and I win, you know, and I'll win something. Oh, shit. Do you purposely <laughs> not get promoted? <laughs> okay. Uh probably not, but um I have a little bit of ambition, but maybe somebody else might. That's a good point. Uh yeah, Division One only. Let's go. So Scosmo makes this interesting point here. He says, so rare make me want to compete in Division One, but at times I think I should compete lower. It doesn't mean I don't want to compete in Division One. What do you think about that? Um, I think that's that's probably fair. I mean, like, I've got a lot of weird teams, and Scosmo does too. I know his gallery decently well, and it's like, yeah, West Ham this week is not going to be great. And that's not a – like, I've got these West Ham players. They're not going to be great on the road to Leverkusen. So what am I going to do with those players? Not going to run them in a Division One anywhere, I don't think. But uh, next week, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked at fixtures, but I'm sure that they have a, a decent fixture coming up. And I do want to be able to run them in a good spot then. So um, it's, it's tough because – I. I always want to submit a lineup. I'm not going to not submit a lineup. And uh, there's going to be cases where I get demoted just for putting a team in, which is yeah. also, you know, counterintuitive. Because you'd rather just skip it? Like knowing you're getting remote? Uh, I mean, like from like an EV, EV perspective, yeah, yeah. it's like, don't, don't play. Right. They're but not going to shut out you... Leverkusen on the road. Yeah, yeah. Um. Do you think that like boxes for streaks is encouraging you would encourage you enough to just YOLO it? And by YOLO it, I don't mean put that West Ham stack in. I mean go buy some more cards and jam that into D1. I mean, so that I can win a power up. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'd be super boxes that also have coins. Oh, oh and... a mega jumbo box. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Super All right. premium elite. <laughs> yeah. I might be in for that. That sounds good. Um, Pablo said, I have my useless St. Louis team, not so useless in D4 last week. There we go. What do you think about this from Ben? Reward boxes moved from classic to in season. Hmm. I have I have a response, but I'm... <laughs> you, <laughs> I think it would piss off a lot of people. Uh, I, don't hard note. Do that. I don't think they need to do that. Ooh, breaking news for the ambitious people who plan ahead for the, for the uh, K-League and senior level special weekly. It's in the lineup builder. Is that this weekend? No. It's the next the weekend? Future. Further down I think. The road. It's definitely not this weekend. Okay. This weekend is the Liverpool one, which you may get the opportunity to have a second once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> Laird, as a as a senior citizen, how excited are you about this uh, senior competition? So I was very excited about it, and there are two things that kind of lowered my excitement. Okay. One was the fact that thirty was the threshold. I think it's way too low, and is an insult to great players on this platform, like Hulk and Franco Armani and all the old guys. Silver Fox. I mean, they shouldn't be playing with 30-year-olds. Come on. And the second 
is that Harry Trades has basically given up on U23. And if he's now playing 30 and overs, we're all dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it should be like like 35. Like, let, how about this? Like, Laird's age. No, you can't do Laird's age. Yeah, you, you can't do that. Just pick pick somebody on the platform. I don't know. Um, hmm. Jimmer, like Jimmer, older in the literal seniors division. Yeah. What do you think about so rare manager aged based divisions? Oh God. Uh, no. Yeah, you're just saying no because of KYC. You don't want them to know how old you are. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I don't want anybody to know how old I am. That's right. That's right. It'll just be me and Mike playing in the over forty division. It'll be great. Right. Um, no, I wouldn't be alone, but it wouldn't be many of us. Um, Vita was saying 471 for the, for your K league special and the over, over 30. That means nothing to me though. I mean, what, what is today even it's, it's April, April 11th. It is. Yeah. 471 means nothing to you. Yeah. What, what like two weeks. Okay. This weekend so is means... 467. And then we have 469 and then 471 for the weekend. Gotcha. Um, I feel like there's probably a better way, right? Better for what? I don't know. Just like, are we just going to keep going? Like game week 1,276. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yeah. What is the better way? No, there is no better way. Oh, there has to be. Why? <laughs> Numbers are infinite. Andy, we are here forever. So if Sora is still, still alive in 10 years, game week 6,274. Really? I got to remember that? That's a midweek, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't want to like run out of names of vegetables. What are you going to do? Sorry, we can't play anymore. There are no more names. I don't know. Why do you have to have a name? I can't just say the, the midweek of April 27th. Oh, you just want to use dates. I mean, that's what most people on this planet use. Uh, but like, I, I, I should actually talk to my work and be like, hey, let's switch to the game week calendar. You know, that's how I work. That's how I operate. <laughs> <laughs> so we came up to, it came into this problem a while, like maybe a year or two ago that sometimes game weeks in different years have the same dates. So now you're going to have to include the year. Like, so we're used to not include the year in the game week, like ID. Mm. Classic Y2K, classic Y2K problem here. Totally. Us, totally. Us know about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> but yeah, it's exactly what happened. Um, and so they were like, oh shit, we have to like add the year because we've already had an April 3rd through 6th game week. That's why you number them because it's just infinite. Hmm. Anyway, Toby said the more superlatives they can fit into the name of the box, the better, no matter the contents, which I feel like the fact that you win a premium, a, what do they call premium box, premium, rare, rare premium box that you win in uh <laughs> champion classic rare division one. Yeah. <laughs> They, they do need probably more boxes, but the bigger issue is what the what the hell else can they put in these boxes? They have to be able to put more stuff in them. I hope so, because the, the boosts are nice and all, but they're getting... I, I'm bored. Yeah, so... It, I haven't it won doesn't a card have, yet, so I'm bored. It doesn't have to be much, but as long as there's some variety, it just keeps... like the There's something in like the human brain... That, you know, it's like I see something different and it makes me want to keep going and win more. But yeah, like coins is low hanging fruit. You have these level ups. Someone mentioned today on Twitter something to lower the uh, 90 day wait time on a, a, a card for the collection bonus. The collection. Or sure. Um, maybe like a collection boost. I don't know. I don't know what that would even mean. It's just words that I'm spewing out right now. But jerseys, maybe. Tickets, Mike said. Tickets are hard. I probably wouldn't do tickets, but if you could do jerseys, that's cool. I yeah. 
I think like I feel like I would rather them distribute jerseys that way than like the silly like yeah. spend coins on raffle tickets or what like yeah. What about a uh, uh, a so rare live strong bracelet? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't in. Yeah, like any sort of like merch. Merch is probably tough for them because logistically it's kind of a pain in the ass. But yeah. Uh, so m- probably more virtual goods, but if they want to, yeah, fitness refill, energy dr- drinks. There you go. Um, <laughs> I can't even read this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry for those who are listening. <laughs> uh, club shot discount codes. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Someone else mentioned auction credits. Sure, I guess. Like those are the, those are the things they should already be doing, and we should be like already bored of auction credits and want, wanting something else. Already there, Andy. I've got yeah. three hundred dollars worth of auction credits in NBA, and I'm like, great. I can buy a twelve hundred dollar card and get three hundred. Have some, off. have some ambition. Buy a unique. Come on. Card pass. Oh no, it's a maximum of twenty five dollars. I forgot about that part. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, that's brutal. It's. Uh, I like Scosmo's idea. Just fill those fuckers with ETH. Make us rich. <laughs> Let's just cycle back to the Toblerone idea. Actually, Scosmo, that's not a bad idea. Like they should just put some cash in some of them. It's like an Easter egg, right? You open the Easter egg, your mom put a dollar in it, or. A Reese's peanut butter cup, which is better than a dollar. Yeah. Definitely better than a dollar. Yeah. Give me the Reese's. How do you think? So Tom Tom said that in his time he had a free get laid ticket. What about like a Nicholas back rub? You know? (laughs) Moving in the wrong direction here, all right. Hold on, I, I do want to. What? How, what do you think the level of excitement is if they gave ETH in reward boxes? Like, do you think people would just go nuts? Like, yeah. would, it, would would you would you have more ambition to win boxes if you were like, oh, I actually could win ETH? Oh, I have lots of ambition to win boxes. I want to win boxes. The the seeing seeing people I know open a box that has a five hundred dollar card uh, makes me want boxes That's really yeah really really bad. Um, even even if every single box I've ever opened has a level up in it, it's still fun as hell to open a box. Now I'm just saying to like take that to the next level. Boxes would be even more fun with more stuff, but boxes are still really cool and it's a great idea and I like it. Yeah, no, I think they're great. They they're great. I've only had level ups as well. Shout out to Surface Aramis. It was fifty of fifty on level <laughs> level ups. <laughs> yeah, he's smashing um, those level ups. He really is. Yeah. Um, Johanathan said, "If you could win ETH in boxes, that it would ruin the idea of in season cards exclusively winning cash." So, in season cards do not exclusively win cash though because classic division one podiums can win cash so there's no there's no exclu- exclusivity precedent here right and it doesn't have to be a ton of eth or cash or whatever you want to give away there like uh and it can be the lowest percentage it can be lower than a card just as long as there's just give me more stuff even a half of a percent whatever i want the i want that in my head that i can win that Scosmo said, "If there was a one percent chance to win a random range of ten to a thousand dollars in super rare D one, I would be so excited for classic." Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we solved that problem. Um, KB said was talking about sponsored contests, which hmm. um, we've talked about somewhere on this channel. I just there's just not enough people that it matters. Like, what were the examples that he had? 
brand sponsorships, win an Adidas shirt, boots, or discounts. Like I don't Adidas doesn't there are not enough people who play so rare that they care to get them to give them a shirt. I don't know. Um Oh yeah, Blue Tomatoes also points out you can use in-season cards in Cap 240. Yeah, or classic season ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think cash would be fun in that respect. Like, is that too much, is that too lottery-ish? Are we gambling now? I don't think so. Yeah. We are, we are <clears> yeah, neither lawyers the- nor, polit- nor uh, legislators, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they there there's probably lots of bullshit, and there's pr- probably lots of things in the past that we've talked about where it's like, why don't they do this? I think there's a lot of uh, legal shit that yeah. they got to deal with. Yeah, and they're like 18 people at the so rare office, just like we can't. We like we, we know. know we want we know. to. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting your damn back rub, all right? <laughs> <laughs> surely, surely they could do that. Yeah. Like just as long as I as long as I show up to the office and they're not like coming to me, it's probably fine. Like I gotta pay my own way, right? Well, surely, yeah. It's not this all expense paid back rub. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> um Colonel Dickweed said they did a sponsored <laughs> I every single time. I bring up a comment from Colonel Dickweed. I try to say Colonel Dickweed without laughing. And I usually pretty good at it. And it just got me today. Anyway, they just sponsored comp in MLB. And it was some podcast with 35 followers. So rare sponsored it. Like that's different. I, I'm talking about like a, a major company coming to so rare and being like, we want to give you a hundred thousand dollars to give away to your users. So they buy more big Macs. Like it's just, they're just not enough of Ooh, us. Not a bad I mean, idea. Downskies. If there was a Burger King sponsored contest, would you play? Wouldn't even play. You know I'm not. I'm not touching that. What if you could win cash? That and the Burger King competition. It was, it was actually Burger King market credits. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> not even for oh, a soda? Man. man. Um, I still think food vouchers in boxes is the way. I mean, if there's ever a show that would be pro food vouchers and boxes, this is it. Yeah. It would be kind of cool just to like you open your box and it's just a watermelon emoji. What, how would you feel as a so rare manager who was sharp enough to get the burger emoji on so rare before it went extinct and they came back and were like oh in boxes now we're going to give out these emojis and one of them was a burger Mm -hmm. how would you feel would feel a little lied to that uh you know we're going to allow other people to have the burger after they took it away um i would not be happy about that i think i would sell up yeah because i don't think i don't think you can trust a company that would do that how about how about NFTs in the boxes? Would there be like just like other ones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll do, I'll donate. You know, if if Nicholas is willing to do this, I'd be willing to donate my OJ Simpson NFT if they wanted to give it away in a box. Wow. Yeah. Which has got to be worth a ton after today. Like so much. R.I.P. Yeah. OJ. Um, and to all the people that he killed. <laughs> allegedly. Not even allegedly. allegedly. It's cleared. Well, not in, the, not in the civil trial, but okay. That's just money, though. <clears throat> Again, not legal advice. Um I feel like that would be hilarious if they were like, hey, you won this NFT from this project over on <laughs> Solana or whatever. It's just going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scosmo's got it. The OJ Simpson sponsor, mm. sponsored Prison FC special weekly. Quincy promises, uh, like, like going to just crush that comp. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Did someone say he's like not in jail right now? He might kill it. Although oh, that's God. not that's not why he's in there. That's it was a bad joke. Sorry. Hold on. There's, no, there's a, a better one there somewhere. No, it was good. He might blow it blow it away. <laughs> Maybe. That's a good Maybe. dude. Sorry. Um. He might stab it. Mm, I don't know. That was blue tomatoes, not not us. Anyway, man, where has this conversation gone? Um. So Andy, how do we yeah. get people? To be, I was I, I was gonna say, uh, uh, you said, how did this conversation get here? NFTs and boxes. I mean, this is a Web three project, right? We could, so so could expand out and make other cool sports NFTs or awesome celebrity NFTs, like a JoJo Siwa uh, NFT. Come on, you want that in your wow. life, right? That that's the <laughs> example we came up with, huh? Um, jeez. Um, oh, for more for you, Laird, it might be like a Celine Dion one or something, you know. <laughs> bird NFTs, yeah, I'm in. Let's do bird NFTs. Surely, there is some bird NFT project out there, right? A super rare blue jay, give it to me, you know, blue on blue, yeah, yeah, the blue or, on blue, or a bird I didn't mention before, but a cardinal on a rare would look quite nice. Um, like we, we literally have cardinal rare cards on the platform. <laughs> nah, nah. Just give me a big dumb bird on a card. What do you, I'm, I'm actually legitimately intrigued at this idea that like other, like, why haven't we seen that yet? Like other projects being like, Hey, we've got the a hundred NFTs here. We're going to give them to you to so rare and you can reward them and bring people onto our platform. Like they, there are thousands of people on this platform who have been dumb enough to throw th so much money at it. <laughs> Surely we could have some bird NFTs too, right? Like if you were an NFT project, wouldn't you see so rare users as like, oh yeah, they're, they're NFT people. Maybe we can hook a few of them. I think probably more so so rare doesn't want a bunch of fucking birds on their platform. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure these bird NFT companies would just die to have the you know the platform of so rare, but but you know, Nicholas and, and, and the team are just like, oh, we can't have we can't be having these birds on here. You don't think Nico's a bird guy, bird nerd? I mean he might he might be, but you know, the product is is pretty important to him and he doesn't want to see you know these baseball and soccer and basketball guys mixed in with a bunch of birds. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Tobias said he wouldn't mind winning a few birds. Like, yeah. <laughs> could, I would I would be all in on collecting birds. And like I said, I'm not a bird nerd, but I, I might become one. I'm literally... All right, hold on. Oh, you're looking for a bird NFT. I literally searched NFT bird collection. I was reminded of these stupid penguins that everybody's buying. Mm. Apologies, Pe penguins, birds. Penguins aren't birds. Penguins aren't birds. No, I don't think so. Well, <laughs> I mean, they're not fish. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they're they're like their own thing. Hold on, let me put this on screen just so we're we're not hiding anything. Scosmo said, can we just have ETH, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, they're birds. They are birds. Yeah. They Aquatic are. Aquatic flightless birds. Yeah. Okay. Kind of disrespect. They're not birds. Yeah. Colonel Dickweed said, you'd think a bird nerd would not get something like this so wrong. <laughs> hey, like I said, not a bird nerd. Not a bird nerd. So. Andy, have you ever looked for a bird through binoculars? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are so close to saying uh, <laughs> I think the answer is no, but my dad is kind of a bird nerd. And he may have, when I was younger, he may have talked me into looking at a bird through binoculars. But in my adult life, I can definitely say I've not looked, looked, uh, 
at a bird through binoculars. See, these are stupid fake birds, though. I I agree. Get with the you. shit There's out of here. The reason why the volume is zero. Yeah, give give me a a real looking woodpecker, or like mid flight eagle, just like yeah, that would be like the Mbappe right there, a bald eagle. At least for us. Scosmo said you should change your name to Blackbird. Mm, that's a good idea, actually. Is a Blackbird an actual type of bird? <laughs> oh, I thought... <laughs> that's because not what I, I like thought the... you were trying to say. <laughs> um, I thought you were trying to say, like, is a Blackbird actually a bird? And I'm like, yes, but you're not actually yeah. asking that. You were asking if, but yes. It's quite common. Mm. That's uh, the common, common bird. The common blackbird, of course. Common blackbird. <sighs> um, Ooh, so are Deco. Do we get a flock percentage bonus? Like, like a collection a, bonus, but a flock yeah. bonus? Love that. Yeah. So it's like birds of the same, I don't know, jo genus or something? I don't know. I'm not a... Yeah, I wasn't a big bio guy. <laughs> yeah. I think it's... Yeah, that's the one. What would be in the same one as penguins? Oh, they have the other ones, the other like penguin looking things. The what are they called? The somebody in chat will know. It's like you have the penguin and then you have the other one that can like kind of fly. There's like this like an alligator penguins. crocodile thing, nobody can tell the difference. Yeah, but the one of them flies, I think. One of them flies? Like a flying penguin? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's true. Not a dodo, no. Flying penguin hoax is literally the first thing that. No, I think up. it's a. Is it a pep pepin? A puffin. Oh, puffin. puffin? I got it. Puffin. Yeah, a puffin. Puffins fly? Maybe they don't, but they look like they could fly. Look at that thing. Yeah, they do. It's. It's not really a penguin though. Kind of looks like the combination of a penguin and a duck. I mean, the, it's. <laughs> How do you think it got that way? Like, how do you think it evolved into that? <laughs> yeah, it's a late night between a penguin and a duck that we don't need to talk about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Stop. He says, I like level ups now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're back. We're back to just level up. Everyone is just like so content. Like, no, no we're fine. Just, Go back to the level ups. You, <laughs> this is what happens when you start asking for more. The, so, or the Scosmo says, if if so rare does big if, can you guys create so birds a fantasy bird watching NFT platform with its own bird watching SO5 matrix? Sounds like enough nonsense to make some money in the next bull run. Mm. It's not a bad idea. I think Scosmo's onto something here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the the gamification of this game would be difficult. Um, you would need like a, I don't know. You need need like Opta to score it. You need a third party that was. Uh, you know, impartial to properly score the the bird watching game. I mean, you know, like you take maybe you take a picture and then you submit it, and it's like whoever has the best picture of the dodo bird that's extinct. Do <laughs> um, isn't um, what's the what's the horse racing one? Zed Run. Like those yeah. are real horse races, right? Yeah, they're like simulations. Yeah, so like you could just have like a simulated rainforest hmm. and like whatever birds so, happen to be. So this game existed. It was uh, Pokemon, uh, what was it? Pokemon uh, Snap. Snap. And it was like on Nintendo 64 and like you rode around on like a, uh, a rail car <laughs> and you had like your camera and it was like a first person game. And like as you went, on your your the railroad or whatever, you'd see like a Pokemon in the distance, and like you had to like like you know time the the picture and take a picture of the, and then it like graded the like how good your picture was, like oh did you get them fully centered in the picture yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. Oh look, they remade Snap. How about that? So. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Ooh, Dusseldorf player named Robin Bird. Let's look at his uh let's look at his scores. I was gonna say, let's this is a so rare podcast. L15 of zero. Ooh, not not a good start. 
He's young though. He's 22. Has he ever played? No. Looks like a no. Yeah, that looks like a no. Do we have any Eagles? What do you think, do you think so a Larry rare? Larry Bird Legends card would be nice? <clears throat> so rare Hawk. Looks like a non-football player. This guy's this poor guy is like he's like, why are they talking about my gallery? <laughs> oh yeah, Troy Parent. Good call. Have you ever had a bird as a pet? Uh yeah. When I was a kid, we had a, a cockatiel. And that thing, his name was, I think it was, was it Petey? That thing was fucking annoying. Good. No, I mean, I like, dude, if you want a bird, you got to give him a, a stupid bird name. Dude, I should totally have a Go, go Ahead Eagles collection, by the way. Yeah, you should. Um, Somebody just won, like, uh, just, like, cleaned up a few weeks ago with a Go Ahead Eagles collection. Nice. Oh. We suck. Yeah, we're really bad. <laughs> uh, so, so my pet bird, we had to get rid of it because he, uh, he or it, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know how you even tell on a bird, but, uh, that thing, that thing would wake up every morning at like 5am as soon as the sun came up and it would just start tweeting like crazy. So the one trick was you put a blanket over it at night. So that yeah, it, yeah. it, it, Theoretically, like it won't really know when morning hits, but it could still see like little rays of light coming out of there and it would wake up every morning still and just like go ape shit crazy and nobody in my house slept. So we gave it to the neighbor and the neighbor was like really wanting it. And then I think that they got rid of it because it, it woke them up every morning. <laughs> I, I feel really bad saying this. It mm -hmm. seems like a really dumb pet. No, it was cool. It was cool, but why? Like it, like walk around the, it, uh, like just walk around the living room, and uh, it, its wings were clipped, so like it could flutter but not fly. So it'd, it'd be like fluttering around the house, and it was pretty cool. But it, but it would shit on, uh, shit on yeah. things. Like it wasn't, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it, it was like it, it's its poop was like easy to clean up. It wasn't a big deal. So I don't know. Dude, if if I could, I would do the the whole. What's the? Uh, there's like a parrot that like lives longer than like humans. It lives for like fifty, maybe not longer than humans, but it lives for like fifty years or something. I was gonna say, I is was, that all we have? Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, you're basically dead. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> but I would love one of those, and like you can teach them th them words. Like they 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 can. Yeah, they're they're really smart. I guess. Would you rather have? A bird that did that or a dog that did that? A dog that can talk. Yeah. Oh, I'd take a dog that can yeah. talk. Yeah, fuck yeah. All right. And like really could like just understand and have a conversation with you. Yeah, yeah. Like imagine getting like really, really stoned and just like having a conversation with your dog. I mean, I guess you don't have to be stoned, but I, I think it'd be more fun. fun. <laughs> it'd be more fun. The fact that you could probably get stoned and have a conversation with a dog right now. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, I have no idea how to tie this back to so rare. I think I think it's it's pretty much all, so far off the rails. It ain't coming back. It's not try. Back yeah. Um, What's the Congo gray parrot? What is that? Dude? What is that? I don't know. I guess that's the one that that lives forever. Oh. It's not even colorful. Can you imagine that that fucking bird like being a smart ass back to you? Like what? Like you tell it to do something and he's just like, I don't know. Now <laughs> look at him. He's the, so smug. So there's this link here with this picture, which I think is hilarious, but it says one of the biggest cons of owning an African gray parrot is their high. What do you think it is? Uh, probably how long they live because people aren't going to be that committed to a bird for 25 years. I was thinking it was like a, some sort of high pitched sound that they make. Oh, like a squeal, possibly. High sex drive. 
Was it? <laughs> <laughs> that's too good. Uh... <laughs> Mike Basson, imagine the disappointment when the dog realizes they're smarter than you. Anyway, um, is there high maintenance? Ah. Maintenance. Attention, These birds require affection. a lot of attention, affection, and mental stimulation to stay happy and healthy. Yeah, I mean, that's that seems reasonable to me. Oh, African oh, there you go. great birds also have a loud, piercing scream. Jesus. Not something I need in my life. Oh, and they're destructive. How to overcome it. Just don't buy one. Anyway. Yeah. That's probably. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Mike. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> Stop. So just saying we have no ambition, I guess. Um, let's go back to the ambition. Um, is there any way to force any other way to force people to have it like Scosmo always says yeah money 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 eth things that you can sell for money that's good for ambition yeah and and really we want things that we can sell for money that is on so rare we don't want to have to like i'm picturing surface winning is what was it the aston villa jersey and then selling it and you had to go through all of the just put it right on the site uh mm. oh like like a jersey nft that you can redeem for a real jersey i mean that's the that should be their long-term play so like if surface doesn't want the jersey he can just sell the nf <clears throat> sell the nft to someone else and then they can redeem it why on earth is that not already a thing it should be yeah what are we doing right again there's that lawyer like guys we there's 75 laws of why we can't do it. Yeah. But we're not lawyers, so let give me that NFT. I don't see why that couldn't exist. That is probably more of a technical challenge of some sort, but I mean, yeah. Andy, we, we, have, we have a history of, or we have a precedent of SoRare creating NFTs that are not part of this game. Yeah. Just make them, make the just make a couple of those. Just use your national series card printer. Print me up some jersey NFTs. Um, Mike Basson said, "Gen, genu, gen." I don't know what that word is. Genuine, gen, we know. Did that with Fiorentina jerseys. Quinny and I both have one. You have jerseys, or you have NFTs for jerseys, or both. You have to hand. You have to burn. Yeah, there's the burning mechanism. Well, you would definitely have to, you wouldn't be able to, have to burn it, get right? the jersey and, yeah. but I mean, in theory, it could be like a spent token or something. Like you could still have the the thing, but I don't know. I think you should burn it. Burn, burning is probably the way to go. Yeah. Although you might, you might even come up with like some weird thing where like the NFTs become more valuable than the actual jerseys for some strange odd reason. What if like, uh, I'm thinking like if every year you own the NFT, you went, you have like access to a jersey from that year. So if like you held the NFT for five years and then you burn it, you get like the last five years of jerseys. Hmm. Or but you just wait. You just wait to. You just wait to redeem it until they ha they have a jersey that you like. That you like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so it's another thing we solved. Jerseys and boxes. Sweet. Right. I think Sober merch would be cool. I guess just shipping it to all these people is just a real pain in the ass. I'm assuming. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be, uh, especially internationally. And yeah, that's right. probably one of the big problems being in an inter international company like that is like logistically. I don't know. what What's the shipping cost of something? Well, I, I don't know. With the NBA thing, I feel like they kind of like – didn't they use like some other third-party courier service that, that did a lot of the – yeah, the playoffs? Uh, I don't know how – I mean, I assume that they don't do this themselves. 
Um, yeah. Like, I don't think Zora is back there, like, stamping all these envelopes, <laughs> shipping them off. Yeah, but I think, I think like, customs is a problem. And, like, yeah. where the where the package is coming from uh, is a big uh, nuisance. Hmm. So, like, I, I feel like they would need partners in a lot of different countries to make it viable. Probably. Probably, yeah. Mike was uh, following up here. It's genuine O, which I... I still don't believe, but we had the NFT that entitled us to the Jersey. We redeemed and they sent us the shirts. If we ever want to sell the NFT, we have to return the Jersey to them. They're signed player Jersey. What are they going to come knocking on your door? Hey, give that back. That's weird. I feel like that's how you, that's how a web three company goes bankrupt. Um, Could they not just do print on demand? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, the international part is, is tough. Suradeco says Sora should actually display a bunch of jerseys they have in the shop and you can win a redeemable jersey token in boxes. I do feel like they... Oh, Skozer said it's important taxes for an old free BMG jersey I won cost me more than a new jersey would have. Oh, import taxes, not important taxes. I've, I've, got, um, a, I've got a ridiculous one that applies here. Uh, there's a Web3 company called Uniswap that... Basically, they're a uh, they're an exchange, right? And they came out with a product called Unisox. They're NFTs or tokens for socks, and you can redeem them for real socks. But uh, th- there was only a limited number of them that exist, and the the Unisox token now trades for thirty three thousand dollars. So if you want to, you can you and you can you can trade your token or you can redeem the token for a pair of socks. But uh, you bur- you burn the token when, uh, and this has existed for like four or five years now or something. So the, the total supply was they released three hundred something socks or three hundred tokens for the socks. Three hundred pairs of socks or three hundred socks. Great question. Um, they're pairs. <laughs> okay. Um, honestly, it, it's 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 absurd, and it's it, it's kind of like a uh, uh, a gimmick of how like the NFT space works. But it's also kind of kind of interesting if you came out with some kind of like exclusive merch of some sort. Um, I would like it would be really interesting to see someone do this with like something that was actually desirable, like a cool pair of Jordans or something. Um, I don't know, something that people actually desire, not these silly unisox, but uh, with, with the way that the supply works, there's uh, only been X number that have ever been redeemed. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Go look up unisox sometime and, and it's interesting. What do the socks look like? They're stupid. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, like I, I don't know. They have their logo on it, and you can probably find a picture if you look at. So, up. like, but but like, what what makes them being priced that highly? Um, Surely, it's not actually related to the socks. Uh, I think it is. Yeah. The weird market dynamics of there being like such a limited limited supply of them. And I don't think that it's like something that's like traded on a daily basis. Like people right. aren't like these aren't moving hands, but um like if you look at actual volume, it's probably quite low. So are socks trading higher than super Mbappe's? Let's go. Yeah. Mike Basson said I bet they wouldn't be stupid if they had a cardinal on it. It's good. Point. They have a unicorn on it, I think. Because that's like oh. their their logo. Yeah. Oh, hmm. just like UNI socks. Yeah. Trades under the ticker socks in case anybody's wondering. So there it is. Obviously the, the, <laughs> the volume on these is, uh, I think it's not being traded on a regular basis. 
I don't think you can buy one sock, Mike. No. I don't get. Oh, that's a good question, also, too. Wasn't Web3 supposed to tokenize uh, big, like, uh, investments like this or fractionalize them? That was the. That was oh, funny. yeah. I, I, I guess you probably could. You could, you'd have to, you'd have to own a pair of socks first and then you could fractionalize them, sure. And then you can fractionalize it? Would you sell by the toe? Would you fractionalize by the toe? Uh, probably not. Rico said that Nike does something with virtual. Yeah, you know, I thought they did. Days. Yeah. Now that's cool and all, but like, I think that there, there needs to be like a real world, you know, tie it, tie in where you can. No, you wear them in the metaverse, Andy. Ooh, what, what if, what if there was this really cool, messy NFT, but wait, but wait, there's more, there's more Laird. You can exchange it for a zoom call with Messi. No, <laughs> I didn't know that's where you were going, but I'm glad you went somewhere where I was just like, oh yeah, no, no chance. Yeah. Um, Zoom call with Messi. The fuck you thinking, Millis? <sighs> as long as the translate was like the, uh, like Zoom had like a translate button where like everything he said was like captioned, I think we could have a pretty productive conversation. Yeah. Zero percent chance. Yeah. Rikamon says, so what we need is virtual football trainers that we can add to our so rare cards for boosts. No. Also, no. <sighs> Mike Basson with a nice um, sports gambling joke. I'd exchange an Otani for betting tips. That's good. What if, the, what if, know, he's like, quite unsuccessful. Going back, to the, going back to the virtual football trainers, what if you could get like a John Nellis or a Quinny? trading card that you like you could apply to your team or something and it gives them some kind of boost Fuck. like imagine quinny on a so rare card yeah let's go let's go i actually he's got like his clipboard he's pointing yeah, he's yeah. Well, like a yeah. coach guard yeah quinny yeah. Co yeah oh that would make me deposit <laughs> Ooh, unlocks for new tactics. That's cool. Yeah, I don't. What What's the deal? And I think that you're one of those people, Laird, that is like really against tactics in regular so rare play. Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Why? It's just so gimmicky. It's not. Just because we've got 57 minutes, you're talking about so rare gimmicks, but still, <laughs> dude, we we just talked about putting birds on a so rare card. I would rather a tactics bird than, than oh having. To figure out tiki taka against, you know why it's it. I, I mean, I guess maybe my mind will change when I uh, when we have the special weekly that apparently mm -hmm. has tactics. I mean, you can put no thought into it if you want. Just choose Gen Genjin pressing, Gen Genjin pressing all the time. Yeah, just what I do. just choose that. Yeah, or or so if it's that simple. Then like, why are we doing it? Because people will put in a lot of work, and they'll find these guys that get. 100 plus passes a game and they'll put them all in a lineup together but none of them will get decisives so it'll be like you hit you maxed out your tactic but you didn't actually score any goals and you don't win but i think i think that like there's lots of like fun yeah, dj pressing DJ i think there's lots of like fun nuances to the game that you unlock just go play rivals if you want that shit no no rivals is dead man they killed rivals. Rivals is dead. Yeah, I get an alert every twenty four hours telling me to, to remind or reminding me about rivals. Yeah, and how many tickets do you have? Um, do you still? How many do you, you still think I have? One hundred and seventy four. Oh no, I don't have that many. No. Uh, one hundred. You're over a hundred, right? Man. Yeah. One twenty. One thirty eight. And the lunch wheel is the only thing that has gotten me to play Rivals. Yeah, that was the only thing that, like, the only reason I... We still owe Ali money for some... What did he get? Some curry oh, dinner? To... <laughs> Wait a minute. We, we have to pay for this meal? Isn't that how it works? I don't know. I don't... I thought the losers had to buy Shit. the... Shit, I didn't agree to this, man. 
You bought You're a card player. You bought a super rare to try to win the link. I did not. I, that is not true. It's it <laughs> false. Uh, Mike Batson said that he's at 16, 116. Pablo's over 100. Look at us. Yeah. Rivals, ticket whales. Here's the deal. Rivals is dead, but Rivals could be brought back to life if they if they so chose. If they wanted to put in any any amount of effort, yeah. Rivals could be back, but they have chosen not to. So where Juju said, I'm going to play my Hawk and Seagull with <laughs> Joko Benito in Champions Limited Division 3 this week. <laughs> Andy, maybe, maybe Rivals is just not for us. I mean, and maybe it's not. That's fine. But who's it for then? <laughs> do you nobody. Think, it's do you for think nobody. Rob, no, it's for everybody that knew. Do you think it would be better if they were just like, Andy, you can't play? I want to do that. Sure. I wasn't playing anyway. So <laughs> that's what I mean. Like just, just stop us from being able to play and then we won't feel bad about it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, what sucks is it's fun. I like the idea of it. They could do so much more with it and they don't. What, what was fun about it three months ago? That's not fun now. It was new. Okay. And so, figuring, so like playing tactics and, uh, um, like just figuring it out, solving it, I guess. And you, so you consider it solved? No, but like just like figuring out like like what the best strategies were and how to play it and all that. Yeah, like all of that's still available. Yeah, yeah, but like it's more so. Like I said, more so. Like I figured it out. Not saying that like I'm like great at the game or anything. I'm not, but like most for the most part, like have figured out how to play the game correctly. And then it's like, what's what? What else is there? What can I win? A one in twenty thousand chance to win some tickets for a Dortmund game that I can't get to. Oh, okay. You can I'm get to it. That. You can get to it. Just have some ambition. Like, mm-hmm. Parapress said the rewards are shit. That's the issue. No incentives equals fuck rivals. I mean, there were never incentives. And we loved it. We ate it up. Even just like a, a good leaderboard system. You know Sean would play that shit. Sean, Sean would be all, all on board with that. If he could, if there was like a good leaderboard system where like at the end of every month it reset and whoever was at the top of the leaderboard won something cool. Sean would be buying limiteds every week. Well, yeah, it's just a, just, you have to reward people. That's all it comes down to. And Sean played cause he thought he would get his star uniques through rivals. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to play this game. <laughs> and then, Oh, what, what do you know? <laughs> what wasn't the plan? Um, Scosmo said if they managed to develop the social side of it with leaderboards, which I think is what you were just saying, it could have been fun, but it's stale and boring and old now. Lost all momentum. Yeah, so like I said, I still think they could bring it back to life, but yeah, they could. Um, but in its current state, it's dead. It's like Jon Snow, you know, like he's dead. You you get the 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 witch, and she can come back and bring him back to life, but for now, he's dead. Yeah. Colonel Dickweed said the early leaderboard stuff made it feel like climbing the leaderboard was going to be important, and then nothing ever came of that. Yeah. You guys just don't play for pride enough. No pride. Hey, you, are you playing for pride over there, Laird? Nah, fuck rifles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm 21st on my on my friends list here. Or at least the people I follow. Where's Sean? There's Sean. But I'm like well behind. Like Jim, you're ahead of me. Terry trades, no rivals ambition. Oh, look, all the so rare data people also don't play. Actually, Aurelian plays, but anyway. Um, KB97 bragging rights to all the guys I've never spoken to nor intend to speak to. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mike said that was Sean's moron moment. 
expecting top rivals, top prizes for rivals. Sean's, I, I'm like, I'm sure Sean's response is like that that they should have done that and they were too dumb to do it. And I would just counter that Sean was dumb for thinking that that they would be smart enough to do it. Toby's at six fifty nine. Oh my God, I got close to five. Uh, did I get close to five hundred? I think I got close to five hundred and then lost like three in a row. And I'm like, yeah, well. Is this like what they want us talking about our rivals numbers? Well, I'm a six forty two, but uh, you know, I'm I'm thinking about putting some ambition in this weekend weekend and cracking seven hundred. Like, is that like what they want us having conversations like this? Maybe. <laughs> well, they're not getting that from me. They're not getting. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather play rivals twelve times over a weekend? Or go bird watching. Hmm. What what does bird watching entail? Uh, I think like true bird watching is like binoculars, and you go out to, I don't know, a park, and you just start looking. I think it might be fun if you got to shoot them. And then Such I could amazing. collect. And then I could collect them. I collect them. <laughs> put them in little boxes and have them stuffed. And I could hang them in my house. A little taxidermy, yeah. Take the Sven comes jersey down and throw up a stuffed pigeon. No, I, I'd probably uh, twelve rivals games uh, or bird watching. I'd this probably... one's, don't even answer that. Here's the better one: Burger King or mm. Rivals? Rivals. Ooh, that was actually all day, yeah. all day. <laughs> Collect, play, earn. <laughs> I think there was a kill somewhere. In there. Kill, collect, play. Sight or yeah, see, kill, collect, play, earn. Oh. Um, Toby said, as long as there's a cooler with beer involved in the bird watching, I'm down. Oh, yeah, that actually does sound fun. Yeah, own your, own your bird. Scosmo, I I think there's a future for. You know, you and I to get together and collaborate, and maybe start start our own NFT business here to compete against so rare. Just a big dumb bird on a card. Might be there. There's only a hundred of them. Did you know that there was a challenge? <laughs> no limiteds that? for us, by the way. No limiteds. Yeah, no, no, no. no. It's a rare, rare. Uh... It's a rare bird. <laughs> Did you know that there was a challenge to get to a, an 1100 score in Rivals? Nobody's close no to clue. it. Let's see. The top no one is at 868. That's pretty close. I the, guess. The, the big problem with those challenges, like those are great ideas, but like um, they released that challenge and I'm so far from it. Yeah. Like we're not on equal playing foot, like fields. I mean, we, nobody is. And especially like a new user, you would want them to like feel like they could get there, but like they new user gets on the platform. They're a, a 100 rating or whatever. And it's like, Oh, so basically I can't get there if I start today. So right. Why, why try? How do like, how do we even know that? Right. I don't know, but it should just we be should... a weekly. It should just be a weekly challenge. Whoever can g gain or get to this, this rating. And, and then you have a weekly score. Maybe you get, have your, your yearly global score or whatever, and then you get a weekly score, and it's like whoever gets to 300 this week wins whatever. People would go for that. I'm out. There's just, I mean, there's just so many ideas that, that would make rivals better, and they just like, they've they've stopped, stopped doing anything interesting with it. It does feel that way. That it got to a point, and they were like, okay, this, that's good enough. It's done. It's never right. done. Yeah. <laughs> it's never done. No, no. We shipped it. It's done. Yeah. I, so it does that with a lot of things. It's done. No, it's not done. You have to keep making things better. Like there's an iterative process to make. We're never better. done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, honestly, like, so rare data is a good example. Like, you guys continue, like, you release a new thing, and then you continually Im improve it and make it better, and you take that, like, 
do that with a lot of different things. You make your player pages bet better, like all these things. Not saying server doesn't make some things better over time. They do, but Mike I feel is like there's Sora, two very different things. He's throwing Sora data under the bus a little bit with, with how we took away Sora data leagues. Yeah. Those were fun. Yeah, they're probably a pain in the ass for uh, for you guys too. Also true. They were one thing a pain that you, in the ass for Sora. One thing that you guys aren't iterating on is your baseball side of things. Can confirm. <laughs> That's okay. Somebody though. asked me earlier who was doing my baseball lineups this year, and the answer is my son. How's he doing? Is he is he winning? No, not enough. No, not enough. Well, you gotta. You're gonna have to get on him about that. Yeah. Come on, Larry. He um, he was not as excited about the um, the decision from the um. Lairdino FC accounting department that we'll be spending zero dollars on new baseball cards this year. And right. So, you know, it's a, as it's a, a G- battle. Uh, I guess you're the GM here, but as a manager with a GM that's unwilling to make any purchases or yeah. transfers, um, it feels like you might be tying his hands a little bit there. He's a little handcuffed. I mean, that's what happens. That's, you know, you he's sometimes- like, Dad, we got we to gotta go out and get Soto. He's hitting bombs. Yeah, that's it's an amazing example you use because he literally said that to me like two days ago. Yeah. It's like, should we get a Soto? And I'm like, what do you mean we? Where, your pocket's not opening up. <laughs> <laughs> your money clip's empty. That's the problem with the investors. Yeah. Um. Ben Johnson, so when the club shop came out, it was mentioned that there would be Sora Data memberships in the shop. I remember that being a surprise to you at the time. Did they ever contact Sora Data about that? So I don't know how much I should say about this, but for anybody who is an hour and 12 minutes into this show, deserves to hear it, so I'll say it anyway. There were discussions with Sora before that announcement that they would offer, that they wanted to offer Sora Data memberships in the club shop. That was the the length. That was that was it. They were like, "Hey, we'd like to do this one day," and we were like, "Oh yeah, that'd be cool." And then they announced they were going to do it, and we were like, "Oh hey, thought maybe you'd talk to us about it first. And well, nothing did. has happened since. Yeah, yeah. You'd think that. I mean, that's another good good idea. Something that they could, you know, tie in there or put them um, in the boxes. I don't disagree. Um, I don't. I uh, I really should not say this. Um, I'm not sure enough people at SoRare understand what SoRare data does. Or how important SoRare data is to their product. Right. You didn't say it. I said it. Right. Um, so that's, a, that. yeah, I think that's what it is. And I, I'm not sure that they, like when we, the whole like import your lineups, export your lineup, whatever it is, you want, everybody yeah. wants to like do their lineups in Sora data and just have them go on SoRare. And I don't think SoRare thinks enough people want it to, to do additional work that is required even though we would do all the work. Um, they probably think there's some benefit to, to having people coming onto their site and putting all the stuff in. Absolutely. It's like, oh, they're on the website. They might uh, go onto the market and decide to buy a card. It's like, no, I'm putting my fucking lineups in and it takes an hour to do it. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not putting in lineups that I set in server data and then all of a sudden like, hmm, maybe I should buy another Sven Coombs. Let's go see if there's one for sale. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Nothing? You got no, nothing for that? I'm, I, I'll, I'm going to get in trouble. But I think that's what it comes down to, that they don't think that um, that it's enough of a want. And frankly, I sort of get it from their perspective that, like, do you want people to have to use a third-party site? Well, they don't have to. To do certain things. 
Right. You don't have to. Exactly. Um, you can still manually put that shit in if you want to take, if you want to take all day, go for it. it I, I just don't think that they, they appreciate that or they really would prefer more people to, to do the opposite of Ben and they would prefer more time spent on so rare and less on so rare data. Yeah. And I'm not sure they see that if they spend 90% of their time on so rare data, they're spending 99% of their money on so rare. Yeah. And, so, and like, they should not see that as a competition. They should see it like to, to bias, uh, uh, mentioned here, what does happen, we build lineups on so rare data, see a hole, and then we go on so rare and we buy the card. It's not yeah, like so, they're, they're like, oh, I'm going to buy the card from so rare data now. It's not, that's not how it works. So if you, if you use our site and you're like, oh, I have a hole, I need to, to fill it. We're like, oh yeah, here's the cheapest way you can do it. And if you do your lineup on so rare and you have a hole and they're like, Hey, instantly buy this no, one. No, 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 no. I, I disagree. You, so rare data doesn't make lineup suggestions. Not yet. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, KB said, what I spent on so rare data in the last 18 months, 180 bucks. What I spent last week on so rare, 200 bucks. Firstly, yeah. KB, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy your star membership. And uh, secondly, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I think that's what it comes down to, that it's, um, yeah, I think this sounds like so um, arrogance, not the right word, but I think that they under appreciate how much people use SoRare data to play SoRare. That's all. That's all. Um, before I get myself into some serious trouble, thank you to everybody for coming. For those of you who are still around after an hour and 17 minutes, thank you very much. Please like the stream wherever you listen, like it, um, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shout out to Quinny, who was here earlier. Um, and yeah, if you're so inclined and you'd like something from So Rare, let them know. Simple as that. Simple so as Rare that. Birds, baby. <laughs> so Birds. So Birds. So Birds.